Here's what's going on in the world of sports. Here's what Lee Hamilton thinks on a Tuesday. The Padres open a critical 10-game road trip late this afternoon in New York against the Mets. James Shields, who's 8-3, goes against Noah Syndergaard, who is 4-5. Shields has won only one of his last nine starts. Justin Upton on the trade block is hitting just 170 since June the 1st. Padres nonetheless have won 8 of 11 games in their recent surge. The season, though, could be decided in the next 16 games. The Mets are the only team with a winning record the Padres are going to face. It's over 500. Other teams are a combined 65 games below the 500 mark. Meanwhile, the trade talks are everywhere. The Washington Post overnight reporting the Nationals have reopened trade talks with San Diego about relief ace Craig Kimbrell. Padres evidently asking for the return of young shortstop Trey Turner in the deal. Padres Orioles Justin Upton talks continue. The name that surfaced out of Baltimore, former first round draft pick pitcher Kevin Klausman. Padres conversations with the New York Mets involving Justin Upton. Sources say San Diego wants first round draft pick shortstop Gabe Sacchini in the deal. He's currently hitting over 300 at double A. The Mets have indicated to their media that a big trade could be forthcoming. Evidently, the Padre Angel trade talks for Justin Upton have gone away because the Halos refused to part with pitcher Sean Newcomb in a transaction. Dodgers are off last night. They open a series with the Athletics tonight. Brett Anderson, the left-hander, 5-5, five and five, will test his alien Achilles against Athletics ace Sonny Gray, who's 10-4. L.A. is 56-44 on the season. Evidently, something changed over the weekend. The LA Times is reporting the Dodgers would include Yasiel Puig in a major trade with Philadelphia that might bring them Cole Hamels. Angels were off last night. They open a battle of first place in Houston at Minute Maid Park against the Astros tonight. C.J. Wilson, 8-7, will go against youngster Colin McHugh, who's 11-5. Halos are 55 and 43. The Astros are 55 and 46. Angels, by the way, have won 18 of their last 23. Halos made a deal last night with the Red Sox, acquiring outfielder Shane Victorino for a minor league pitcher. Angels had been talking to Cleveland about a deal for outfielder David Murphy, had been talking to Philadelphia about a deal for second baseman Chase Upley. On the out-of-town scoreboard, Brandon Crawford hit a two-run home run. The Giants beat Milwaukee last night. Bruce Bochy's bunch has won 12 of 13. Chase Headley, three hits. A-Rod, another home run. Yankees won in Texas. New York has won 10 of 13. White Sox nip the Red Sox. Ty Flowers with an RBI single and an RBI double for Chicago. Eric Hosmer with a three-run home run. Kansas City bested Cleveland. The Royals are 60-38. and 38. Tampa Bay young catcher Kurt Casale had a solo homer and a two-run home run. They knocked off Detroit. Colton Wong with a grand slam home run, and the Cardinals win over the Reds. St. Louis, 64-35. and 35. Cubs rookie Chris Bryant, RBI single and a two-run home run. Cubs rally to beat the Rockies. Paul Goldschmidt, Wellington Castillo had home runs in Arizona's game with Seattle. And Matt Wieters, home run on the 11th inning, Baltimore beat the Atlanta Braves. Colorado Rockies shocked the world at 1 o'clock in the morning, trading shortstop Troy Tulowitzki. He goes to the Toronto Blue Jays. Reportedly, Jays shortstop Jose Reyes and a group of minor league pitchers are going to Denver. Tulowitzki, a superstar in Colorado, waived his no-trade clause after six straight losing seasons, the deal made in the early morning hours. The Phillies have opened trade talks with San Francisco about a deal for Cole Hamels. However, they want young giant rookie shortstop Lucius Fox as part of the package. Phillies having trade talks with the Rangers about Hamels, evidently Philadelphia asking for pitchers Martin Perez and Phil Klein. Phillies also talking to the Cubs and the Red Sox about a Hamels deal. Arizona made contact yesterday with Philadelphia about Hamels. And the Houston Astros have re-entered trade conversations with Philadelphia for the 31-year-old left-hander. Meanwhile, the Cardinals and Brewers are discussing a deal that would send second baseman Adam Lean to St. Louis. The Royals and Marlins talking about a deal that would put third baseman Martin Prado in a Kansas City uniform. Pirates continued dialogue with the Red Sox about a trade for first baseman Mike Napoli. 
Oakland A's sent relief pitcher Tyler Clippert, who's got 17 saves, to the New York Mets for a minor leaguer. And the Cubs are eating $15 million on the contract to release veteran pitcher Edwin Jackson. Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson apologized for seven curse words he made in an angry argument with a fan seeking an autograph over the weekend in Cooperstown. In football, NFL Vice President Eric Grubman will hold day-long meetings with the city and the Chargers today to clarify the financing package for the new stadium at Mission Valley. They also will get an update on the EIR report. Meanwhile, the NFL held a conference call with the children of the late Junior Seau explaining their decision to not let them speak at the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies in a couple of weeks. New Orleans Saints linebacker Junior Galletta, who was released this past weekend after another domestic abuse incident, is denying that he used his girlfriend's Twitter account to smear the Saints coaching staff and some of his former teammates. In Baltimore, a group entitled Call to Men, an anti-domestic abuse group, says Ray Rice deserves a second chance to play in the NFL. Trouble in Indianapolis, former Colts quarterback Jack Trudeau arrested late Sunday night in DUI and threatening an officer. His blood alcohol count was .31. Rams special teams coach John Fassel has saved a drowning man caught in a riptide at Manhattan Beach over the weekend. NFL has begun a probe of the assault case filed against Tennessee Titans wide receiver Justin Hunter who broke a man's jaw in a bar fight. And Brandon Marshall, New York Jets wide receiver, says the league needs to address secondhand marijuana smoke issues to protect their players. More clubs opened NFL training camps yesterday. Bengals, Broncos, Rams, 49ers, Jaguars, and the Bucks, led by rookie quarterback and top draft pick Jameis Winston. Seahawks have set a deadline for Thursday to sign quarterback Russell Wilson or end all contract talks and let him test free agency. Reports are Seattle's offered $21 million per year salary, but they're not close on the guaranteed money. Cleveland Browns coach Mike Pettin on a surprise says he'll have open competition this weekend for the starting quarterback's job between Josh McCown and controversial Johnny Manziel. In basketball, Portland has released veteran forward Mike Miller, whom they just traded for from Cleveland. Oklahoma City and Memphis are interested in Miller. Miami and Boston engineer a trade. The Heat have dealt guard Zoran Dragic. He goes to the Celtics. And the Cavaliers have re-signed veteran guard Matt Dellavedova after a great playoff run. NHL hockey, they are reviewing a proposed realignment package in hockey if the league goes to 32 teams by expanding into Las Vegas and Quebec City. The new alignment would have four divisions of eight teams each, including two all-Canadian divisions. That's it. That's what's going on in the world of sports. That's what Lee Hamilton thinks on a Tuesday.